local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. State House Speaker Tim Moore says he is staying on in his leadership role of the General Assembly as he faces a lawsuit. Good evening. Thanks for being here. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. A man is accused more of breaking up his marriage and using his position as Speaker to further a relationship with that man's wife. Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight. And you talk to more about this case. What did he have to say? All right, well, Speaker Moore says he did indeed have a relationship with this woman, but he denies ever abusing his authority and many of the salacious claims that are made in this lawsuit. A man named Scott Lassiter sued Speaker Moore on Sunday over a relationship Moore had with Scott's wife, Jamie Lassiter. Jamie Lassiter works for the state, and Moore says they had an on-again, off-again relationship. In the lawsuit, Scott Lassiter made claims about Moore being involved in group sex and saying the Speaker used his position of power to compel Jamie Lassiter, quote, to engage in degrading acts. Moore denies any of that ever happening, or abusing his authority. Moore is divorced and says it was his understanding the Lassiters were separated, though they were pictured together late last year, and Scott Lassiter's attorney says the two only just separated this January. I have somebody trying to get money from me. That's generally why folks file lawsuits. And uh, of course, I've made it clear. And, and again, Ms. Laster has issued those statements herself that, that they had been separated, that they had some kind of documentation of that separation, in fact. And, you know, that's, uh, uh, I, I don't know what else to say about that other than, than relying on that and, and what my observations had been of that fact. North Carolina is one of only a few states where somebody can file a lawsuit like this, referred to as alienation of affection. Speaker Moore says in light of what's going on here that he now thinks that law should be repealed. He believes he is the victim of this lawsuit. Interestingly, I asked Republican Senate leader Phil Berger about that in light of what's going on with Speaker Moore, and he thinks the law should actually stay in place. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.